Well, welcome to my Let's Play of Pi. And this shouldn't take very long, to be honest. Our story begins in the small village, Roundsville. It starts a day like any other when not Voltorb had to... Um... Answer the call of nature. Here it screams coming from the center of the village. There he saw a vortex. Now vortexes were nothing new to not Voltorb. They are natural phenomena that come and go, but one has never appeared within the village bounds before. His guess was as good as any, and so he decided to jump in to try and rescue his friends. Yeah, you just run around until you find the right spots to go on. And there's not usually a very direct path, but... Since I've done all these, I know at least some of how the routes go. From memory. Though, if that'll be particularly helpful, I don't know. Ah, uh, come on. Here we go. These are um, jump squares or teleport squares, whatever you want to call them. Nah, I'm gonna have to jump back there.
Gosh darn it. They're just a decoy. Duh. Now well, these are the most annoying of the bunch, to be honest. You have to set off switches. Which means you'll basically have to fill in the entire map in some cases to find them. No, I don't know where the switch is at on this one anymore from memory. There we go. Last one. <laughs> Fill in the entire map anyway. He's not sure what he did or how he did it, but he must have done something right because the vortex was gone. He was surrounded by familiar faces. Hey, non Voltorb, where have you been? We thought the vortex got you. Vortex got me. No, the Vortex got you. No, all of us just ran away when the Vortex appeared. Are you freaking kidding me? And that's the end of Pi. Yes, the title of the game is based on this being able to take measurements of a circle. Hence, Pi. Until next time, then. See ya.